Hello friends. Myself, Gaurav Nidhish Patak and today we are going to learn a new topic from the Indian Thermodyne. The name of the topic is Boiler and the Classification of Boilers. Now friends, the another name of the boiler is nothing but the steam generator. We can say boiler as a steam generator because it generates that steam with the help of water. By burning of water, as we know, there is a generation of vapors and that vapor particles collectively with a high pressurized temperature, we can out outcome it by high work output. A boiler may be defined as the closed vessel in which the steam is produced from the water by the combustion of fuel. This combustion may be by coal, by fuel or by any other mean. Also, it can be defined as the combination of apparatus for producing, furnishing or recovering heat together with the apparatus for transporting the heat so made it available to the fluid being heated and vaporized. It is the very clear defini defining above that how boiler can be works and how output from the boiler we can take. Friends, these boilers are classified on the basis of their firing methods and flow of water. Also, to the relative to the position of water and hot gases. Now, what are the water tube boilers? A water tube boilers may be defined as in which the water flows through the tubes which are surrounded by the hot combustion gases that is Babcock and Wilcox boilers are the names are the name of scientists which are invented this kind of boiler in this type the gases are heated form and they are surrounded by the tubes in which water flow is there now another Another topic, another types of boiler is fire tube boiler and a boiler in which the hot combustion gases which are passes through the boiler tubes which are surrounded by the water that is Lancashire and Coran locomotive boilers. This kind of boilers uses around which the hot combustion gases passes through the tubes and water is circulated around the tubes. Such kind of methods are invented by Langshires and Coran, the name of the scientists which are invented this method for taking the output of high pressure, high temperature steam. Now we can achieve this target with the very much other methods also for generation of steam. But if there is an arrangement of water circulation, then it can be classified according to the circulation of water, that is natural circulation and force circulation. If the water is circulated in the boiler due to density difference of hot and cold water, for example, Babcock and Wilcox boiler, then it is said to be natural circulation and if water pump or any force, external force is required for the water along with the path, therefore such kind of boilers we can say as force circulation of water. Such arrangement we can see in Benson and Lamont Wilcox boiler. I already explained that these are the scientists which are invented these methods and the names 
as per their names according to the position of furnace internally fired boilers are the furnace is located inside the shell for example coron and langshire boilers and also externally fired boiler that is the furnace is located outside the boiler shell that is babcock and wilcox boilers now according to their use boilers are classified as per the stationary portable locomotive boilers according to position of boilers the horizontal inclined and vertical boilers and in order to increase the capacity fire tube water tube and water wall boilers are the some types of boiler so friends in front of your screen you can see a clear picture of the fire tube boiler and the various parts which are shown are dome chimney safety valve and steam the chimney as shown is the opening for excessive flue born gases and it is opening for that particular gases a dome which is fitted for collection of or direction of gives the high pressure high temperature steam for to the container and safety valve is attached on the top of the container in which a high pressure steam is to be collected there is a drain and feed water arrangement is also there at the bottom of your screen you can see in figure there is a drain so we can drain it the water or other particles from the body of the boiler and feed water inlet is also provided at the bottom on the right side of figure you can see the fire box which gives the continuous combustion for heating of a steam heating of the tubes now the cut section for fire tube boilers you can see in front of your screen the clear arrangement shows in front of there is a shell arrangement front smoke back there david high tube access doors are invented at there and the fully automatic processor is given at that point rear smoke box and wet back turn approx is attached at that point this kind of boilers is actual working condition for all the industrial and high requirement of the particular steam whatever required now how working of fire tube boiler is progress you can see in front of your screen about the hot gases or hot combustion chamber is given at the left side of the body into the steam generator which generates a continuous heating and it will be supported and opening are given to the tubes from which this generated heat is moved and passes hot gases to the chimney around which there is a circulation of water is there as far as the circulating water touches the surface or walls of the tubes the heat transfer takes place and water get evaporated this water evaporation generate the steam and the steam out will be taken from the top of the container provided to the fire tube boilers the fire tube boilers are oldest design type and so they can be produce the combustion pass through the tubes surrounded by water into the shell the furnace or flame volume can be either be inside or external to the shell that contains the water the upper steam capacity of fire tube boiler is about 20000 liter per hour and the peak pressure obtainable is limited by the large shell so about 3000 pounds fire tube boilers are used for heating system and particularly for generation of steam with a moderated rate of heat transfer the schematic picture in front of your screen you can see the various 
parts or important functioning part working of water tube boiler in which the at the bottom of body the combustion chamber is provided and from which heat generated is takes place which heats the water circulation and generation of steam is working out the sectional view of water tube boiler we can see in this screen the inclination of inclination of water tubes is another advantageous point out for generation of steam in which the combustion chamber generates continuously heating and water tubes are inclined so that the circulation of water and area of steam generation so will be more the generated steam will be collected into the steam outlet container and air and fuel inlet is given for combustion purpose to the combustion chamber the fire smokes and fusible gases which are burn out with the help of chimney they can outlets out for the atmosphere to the general temperature a water tube boiler is one which produce the combustion pass around the outside and heat tubes contains the water the water tube diameter is much smaller as compared to the shell diameter and fire tube boiler so much higher pressure can be obtained all over 2000 pounds the furnace and boiler tubes are must be surrounded by heavy insulated factory walls which prevent the heat transfer through the boiler walls this is all about the steam generators and heating zone and essential requirements for the particular boiler thank you friends thank you very much